This is really wonderful reading. And because I'm out of practice of praising Neil because I've always done the opposite. <laughs> but at some point I have to. Anyway. <laughs> so, um, the field now called conectomics uh, will start it in some sense with this paper up there. So, the idea was to get circuit diagrams of, of, of nervous systems. Now, that is a novel concept to the biologist, maybe, but it's really something every engineer will appreciate. So, the first circuit diagram of an entire organism was the, the, the C. Eigen's circuit diagram, uh, 1984, by Coop, led by Sidney Brenner. And then the field quieted down, partly because it was such a gargantuan effort. There were 12, 12, 12 years working on this paper, and so it was just themed. And anyway, so um, we were foolish enough to decide to revise that field. So uh, then we. So, by basically building an a automated microtome that works slightly differently, normally one takes slices and images in the transmission electron microscope. In this case, you image the surface and remove the surface with a knife. This is, by the way, an a, a animation that Julia made for me many years ago now. So, and uh, so, um, now what's the challenge in that? Yeah. Oh, no. It's basically simply a scaling problem. So the, the conic tones are the, the, the only thing that looked at where this only is up there in the corner and this on the right side is, is a mouse brain which is currently a realistic target. To be attacked, not I mean, in some sense by the, if you want, by the whole uh, connectomics infrastructure of the, of this country. So, if you do that. so, um, but it's just big. And if you wanted to go one step, or all the way, if you want, it would be something like you know, look even bigger. That's at the moment beyond the technology the possibilities, even if one if one had solved it, 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 simply the, the, the data storage noise. Because you have to basically make images with ten to the six or ten to the seven pixels on the side, and not only two dimensional but three dimensional images. And so because you want and on one end you have to resolve the the, the, the wires in the synapses, so you can actually tell some two cells are connected, and which cells are connected to. And you also use the kind of rules, and then you have to, you have to make them basically an uh, image that is not has no gaps across the whole, across the whole um, how do you say whole 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 brain. The powers of ten. Okay. Yeah, so this is the machine as it currently exists in our basement, not in our basement, but in our And this is just a sort of a size, size reference there. This person standing there. <laughs> anyway, so this is a, a, a commercial multi-beam uh, electron microscope, scanning electron microscope, combined with a, with a cluster ion beam. The reason, the reason you need to cluster is if you take a regular ion beam, you get sort of a very uneven surface, which then causes problems with the resolution. And let's see. So the, the one thing that we like, have been trying to get to, to run, which we think is important, because the, the, for various reasons, you, you need to, it's difficult to actually move the sample fast enough between image acquisitions. 
And so we are building a, a piezo stage, or we built a stage, it's actually running now, um, that does this move without quickly within something like 50, 100 milliseconds, without making the whole microscope rattle with, with resonances and so on. So, and the other thing is you want, since you have to have these things on a, on a the, the, the slices are on a, on, a, on, a, on a wafer, they have to move, you move it back and forth to get imaged and then, then melt. There has to be a, the transfer mechanism has to be about reliable. So, let's see. And there's, you can see a lot of it, a lot, of, a lot with e, uh, milling with wire, wire, EDM, and so on. And the, the position is measured, of course. These the pieces are very, a lot of hysteresis and so on. Not only that. Now, let's see, this should actually, okay. Um, let me see, I have to. Now, let's see if the switch can work. Got a five. Then, what is the other thing? Thank you.